Unlike many other lawyers, Sue offers a first consultation free. But Sue's 20 minute consultation usually generates business for the marriage counselor next door instead of her own. Can you file a divorce for us? I need it done ASAP. I will die if I spend one more day with this crazy... Ugh. Uh, then please hold out a day because it will save me a lot of trouble filing for divorce. Calm down. I got it. You both want a divorce. Let me get some basic information from you first. How long have you been married? Two months, 11 days, and four hours. I assume you don't have any kids. She she has one in the oven, but it's not mine. What, will you tell this man to shut up, or I will hire you to sue him for defamation? Miss Lawyer, can you tell some mental hospital to lock this crazy woman up? You know what? I am crazy, or I would have never married this. You know, I had 30 suitors lined up who wanted to marry me. I don't know what I was thinking. I must have been crazy if I married this one. Oh, you think I'm not good enough compared to your 30 rich boyfriends? You're the one saying every day, I love you so much. You're the greatest. You're the love of my life. I must have been mentally ill to believe her. Okay, so I guess you both admit that you're having mental issues, right? N no, I'm not oh, crazy. She, he pushed me to the breaking point. She's the one that started this entire... Stop! Entire... Stop! Stop! You know, you must be in a sound mind to make decisions like this. So let me be the crazy one. You must talk to a marriage counselor before I can process your case. I, I, no, I, I can't. That that Go talk to the marriage counselor. Even if your divorce got granted, it could still be challenged, and I don't want that. Right? So go to room 210. Your first uh, consultation is free. But, but, but this. That, that is no, just. No, that's. No. Please go now. Sue said, we need to talk to you first. Whatever you're going to say is not going to change my mind, so just say it and let's get it over with. So you just got married. What's wrong? I got pregnant and this <sighs> said it was not his. I, I did not say that. I just said that we should get a DNA test. Doesn't that imply that you have doubts on your baby? No, I, I was adopted and I want to do these tests just to make sure everything with the genes were okay. Mm -hmm. um, and she threw this bottle at me. She said I was the worst thing that ever happened to her and that she misses her 30 rich boyfriends and she hasn't talked to me since. Uh, no, I dropped the bottle because what he said broke my heart. I had 30 men trying to take my heart and I gave it all to him. And I've never looked at another man since. So you're saying you did sleep with those 30 men and the baby is mine? But you broke my heart. Baby, forgive me. I owe you a thousand apologies, I'm sorry. I love you. I love you and I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you three. I love you four. Ever. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Do you still live together? Yes. yes. <laughs> Good. Then I don't have to tell you to get a room. I'm so glad it worked out. I wish it all made out. I mean, all worked out. <laughs> uh, do we owe you anything? No. Maybe you owe each other some apology. Don't worry about... <laughs> Morning sickness is common for women in first gestation period. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, bless you. Take care. Take care. Come in. Hi. Hi. Hey. Thanks for the promotion set last week. 
I have never seen a couple like that before. One minute they wanted to kill each other, but when they realized what a stupid mistake it was, they kissed and made up right in front of me. Or should I say, kiss and made out. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, they were on fire. I know. I'm so happy that it worked out for them. Sue, but I'm worried about you. You're a divorce lawyer, and all you do is undivorce people. It's great for my business, but what about yours? You know, I just can't run my business like a blood-sucking lawyer. I would join something like Lawyers Without Borders, but a lawyer can't even practice across state lines. I know. I'm just worried about you. You look depressed. What happened? You know, this sounds crazy, and I don't expect you to understand. I do it because I just know. It's like having a voice in my ear. And sometimes I do have voices in my ear. Like this girl came in the other day named Veronica, and she wanted to leave her husband instead of divorcing him. I know she still loves him, but I sent him to you, but I didn't send her to you because I knew it wasn't gonna work out. When she mentioned her husband, George, I can hear her screaming. I can see an ambulance. I can even see her being choked. I offered to file a restraining order for her, for free. She wouldn't let me do it. Now she's dead. Stop it. You can't blame yourself. You offered to file for free, and that is more than any other lawyer would do. I know. I just feel like I should have done more. Okay, you said you heard voices, right? The voice didn't tell you to do more. What more can you do? Pay her so you can file a restraining order against her husband? Believe me, there is nothing more you can do. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks for saying that. I'll go now. Call me if you need someone to talk to. I won't charge you if you don't charge me. <laughs> Oh.